What's up guys? Today I wanted to make an update to a video that I made about three years ago showing how to delete iCloud storage and free up space on your iPhone or iPad. Now that video currently has over 1.3 million views and in this video I'm going to provide some additional tips and tricks to clear up the storage and prevent it from accumulating in the future. I'm also going to answer some questions that you guys had from that previous video and show updates for the menu screen for iOS 16 in 2023 and beyond. Now the first thing you need to do is go into the settings app on your phone and then click on your name at the very top of settings and here click on iCloud and then at the top click on manage account storage. This page is going to give you an overview of everything that is using up storage on your iCloud. Now if you're like me and you take a lot of photos, most of your iCloud storage is likely going to be used up by these photos. And if you don't want to delete photos completely from backing up into your iCloud, the best thing for you to do is go into your photos app and delete all your old videos and photos that you do not want stored anymore. Once you delete them from the photos app, make sure you also go to the album section in the app and delete them from your recently deleted section as well. Okay, so I just deleted around 400 photos and videos from my phone. You'll see that there is still 18 and a half gigabytes worth of photos on my phone. So in order to update how much storage your photos are using, go back into settings, click on your name, click on iCloud, and then click on iCloud backup. And here you want to click on backup now. So I've just cleared up about 1.6 gigabytes worth of photos in my iCloud. If you find you're deleting all kinds of photos and videos and you're still not able to clear up as much storage as you'd like, you do have the option to go into this photo section here and you can turn off and delete from iCloud completely. Just as a warning, what this button does is it stops all of your photos from being backed up into the iCloud and stored in case you lose your phone or your phone breaks or something like that. So one of the best things that you can do to reduce the amount of storage that each picture takes up on your iCloud storage is by going over into the camera app on your phone and by turning off live photos and you can toggle this on and off by simply clicking on it. And you're probably already aware, but Live Photos basically creates a video for every single photo that you take on your phone. So in this case, it's going to basically upload this video rather than one single picture for every single photo that you take. And by turning this feature off, you can save a ton of data by not uploading all these videos to your iCloud. Okay, so that's pretty much it for photos. The next thing you wanna check is your backup section. So click on this backups button here on your storage. And you definitely want to go ahead and delete old backups, whether it's from an old phone or from your current phone. You really only need your most current backup on your phone. Um, so I just have one here. It's 1.3 gigabytes. And if I click on this, I can go ahead and see what this 1.3 gigabytes is composed of. So here you can see I have a few apps that are taking up quite large chunks of my storage. I can click on show all apps here to see all of them. So here I can turn off apps that I do not actually want backed up into the iCloud. So go through this list, turn off apps that you don't want. Okay, so other than photos and backups, you'll likely see other apps that are taking up your storage here as well. So go through this list and see for yourself if you actually need to have the contents of each of these apps uploaded and backed up to the iCloud. For example, the shortcuts app here, I don't need any of these contents saved. So I can go into this section here and I can delete documents and data. And this is going to stop them from being saved into that iCloud storage. So other than this page, you can also go back. And then in this section under apps using iCloud, you can click on show all to see additional apps. And here you can turn off apps from ever uploading into the iCloud for the future. Um, and so the previous sections, you were deleting the current uploads into the iCloud. And in this section, you can turn them off from reaccumulating and rebacking up in the future. And so for example, I don't ever need my voice memo saved in the iCloud, so I can turn this off. Um, I don't need pretty much any of these apps actually backed up. So that's pretty much it. And so if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.